Good evening. Hi. I'm writing you on the chat and um, I think you can hear me too, but <laughs> how are you? Oh, good. I'm so glad that you can hear me. I'm doing well. <laughs> yeah, I've got myself all set up for tonight. Um, these are the goodies that you'll need, just a couple of, of bed pillows if, if you need um, something to uh, support your legs. And we'll also use them for a supported twist a little later. Um, so you might want to grab a couple of, uh, a couple of bed pillows at least one block and then something to uh, support your head if you need it, like a little pillow for underneath the head when we lie down. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you can join me tonight. We've got about five minutes or so um, before class starts. So we'll um, hopefully we'll have some others joining us. I hope that you've been feeling well and that you've been doing okay at home. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I think, I think we're all looking forward to that. It's, um, yeah, it's, it can be really hard um, having to um, stick, stick to the rules like this, huh? <laughs> do you live by yourself, Sion? Or do you live with someone? Do you have any requests for tonight's class? Is there any, any, um, oh, I see your message now. Oh, good, good. I'm glad that you are um, at home and you're with your wife and 
um, your younger daughter is visiting you with their dog. That's really nice. That's really nice. I, I think I would have a much harder time if I was living alone um, and having to, you know, limit my, my freedom. Um, I know living with somebody has its own set of challenges, but I think if I was by myself right now, I'd be having a much harder time. Um, I live with my husband and my little dog. <laughs> So are there any requests for this evening? Any um, area of the body that you are um, struggling with that you wanna give some attention to? Um, any particular, um, yes, yes, being alone is the worst of the two evils, yes, yes. But, um, yeah, any, anything special you wanna work on? Um, okay. Some lower back and some core. Okay, yes. Good. Good. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. And um, I thought we'd do a little bit of twisting. Some nice twisting movements. And we'll just, um, we'll stay close to the ground like we usually do in my class. <laughs> usually stay close to the ground. Um, I think at the at the end of the day it's it's good to ground ourselves um i was listening in to uh um call, it was called the um um uh, town hall um virtual meeting with um california senator scott wilk and then a couple of um uh, medical doctors uh, directors who were special guests um, today they were doing like a um, you know a, a kind of virtual talk with the Santa Clarita Palmdale Lancaster um, residents and um, one of the things they were talking about was sleep hygiene and it just reminded me so much of this class and how you know we work on on some of that stuff in here um, so I'll talk a little bit about what they shared. I'll share with you what they shared with me um, that I thought was really, really useful. Um, and just great reminders. You know, a lot of it is common sense, but you know, sometimes we forget. Um, so with that said, I hope you have your goodies. It's gonna be just you and me tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and pin my video. Um, just in case anybody joins in, that way um, we won't get disrupted. All right, and here we go, candlelight yoga. We're gonna start lying down. So I want you to um, grab your pillows and um, you're gonna fold them in half. I'm gonna turn towards the camera so that you can see. Oh, yep, see there we go, we've got somebody. Oh no, that's you. I got a little chat from you here. Let's see, okay. Ah, yes. So, uh, well, I'm talking about sleep, sleep hygiene. <laughs> um, how we take care of our, our circadian rhythms, how we take care of our, our brain um, by getting adequate rest. <laughs> Okay, so um, coming back to this, we're going to take the two pillows and we're going to bring them right to the outside of the legs. And, uh, and then you'll go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to open up out to the side and hopefully the pillows give you enough support. Some of us don't, you know, we like to practice reclined bound angle pose without um, without support. But for me, I really like it because I don't treat this pose as a really stretchy inner thigh groin posture. I, I treat it more as a restorative posture. Um, once you've got your, your knees open, you're going to bring your hands behind you, lower yourself down nice and slow, support your head with a pillow if need be, and then lift your hips and lengthen your tailbone down towards your heels. 
Allow your arms to open up to the side. If it feels natural to roll your palms open, go ahead and roll your palms open. Allow your shoulders to relax. Either keeping the eyes softly open or closing them all together, I want you to affirm to yourself that you are doing your yoga practice now. Start to take your awareness inside and we'll begin with some mindfulness. I love the practice of mindfulness. Um, practicing mindfulness is taking time repeatedly throughout the day um, or at least once a day or however many times, but just repeatedly taking the time to consciously choose to become present. And we do that through the senses. We do that by coming into the senses. And so I want you to notice all the places where you are touching the ground. Notice the temperature of the air on your skin. The way that your clothes feel on your body. Allow yourself to pay attention to sound, any little noises that you hear around you in your home, if there are any noises in the space that you're in, as well as noises that you can hear outside of your home, if you can hear any cars going by or anything like that. Notice the breath, notice your breathing, and then follow your breath wherever it goes in your body. Perhaps you feel the natural rise and fall of your belly, the way that your ribs are moving as the lungs inflate on the inhale and deflate on the exhale. And then we'll set the intention for a joyful, energetic body. And so what I'd like you to do is bring your awareness into your body. You can continue to observe the breath and where you feel the breath in the body. Or you can kind of feel yourself from the inside out, just noticing any subtle sensation. Just allowing your awareness to be on the body as you silently repeat to yourself, joyful, energetic body. Joyful, energetic body. Joyful, energetic body. And then allow any imagery or any concepts or ideas to come to mind as you contemplate joyful, energetic body. If you have an image of yourself noticing your posture, noticing any facial expression that may come to mind of yourself living in a joyful, energetic way. Maybe there's some place that you would go. But just using the power of your imagination now to visualize what it would be like to have a joyful and energetic body right now, right now, allowing yourself to really feel it in your body.
And now I'd like you to allow any imagery to dissolve. Just letting go of that intention. And you'll bring your awareness into your fingers and, and your toes and just give them a little wiggle. Starting to bring some movement into our practice. And you'll keep your legs right where they are for just a moment longer. I want you to inhale and bring your arms all the way up above your head. And take a nice stretch when you get here. You're welcome to clasp hold of opposite elbows if you'd like. And as you bring the arms up, welcome the lift of the chest if it wants, if the ribs want to open up. Welcome any movement up the spine. And just breathe, breathe into your lungs, breathe into your chest, just deepening the breath now, taking some nice full inhales and exhales. And then on the exhale, go ahead and release your arms, bringing them all the way down. And you're gonna take the hands behind the thighs and we're gonna bring the knees together. And you can reach down and grab a hold of your pillows and place them off to the side. And then with your feet down on the ground, I'd like you to bring your hands onto your belly, okay, onto your stomach. And we're gonna start with some awareness of our abdominals, of our core. And all we're gonna do is squeeze and release the abdominal muscles with the breath. And so I want you to take an inhale and send your breath down, down into the belly center. And when you exhale, you're going to squeeze, engage, squeeze your belly muscles. And then do that again. Take an inhale down into the belly. And then exhale and squeeze. And do that a few more times. Just creating that nice mind-body connection of, a core, of your core, of your center. Okay, and I want you to go beyond the idea of like six-pack strength here or muscular strength and see if you can tap into a feeling of inner strength. Of, uh, I love the word courage, bravery, willpower, just go beyond physical strength to the layers of inner strength as you continue to expand and then squeeze and contract your belly muscles. Good, and then go ahead and relax, relax your belly muscles. And we're going to take our hands now to the tops of the thighs and we're gonna do a nice little, little traction for the lower back. So I want you to start to press nice and slow into the thighs, okay? And, and you'll go slowly like as if you were turning the volume up in your car stereo. You would go real slow just until you find a pressure that feels comfortable. And then you might continue to press a little bit more, just noticing. And then you'll just hold here. And you might notice a nice little stretch happening in the belly center, maybe some lengthening happening in the lower back. This uh, movement here of, of pressing the thigh bones away um, is a little low back traction. You might maybe get a little, little release. Sometimes I get like a little pop in my lower back when I do this. Not all the time, just sometimes. And then go ahead and relax, relax your, your hands. Okay, and you're gonna keep your hands resting on the tops of your thighs. And now we're gonna come into a little more strengthening work. We're gonna do what I like to call the yogi crunches. And these are mindful crunches, more about quality of movement than quantity. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, you're gonna slide your hands up your thighs toward your knees as you lift your head and shoulders away from the ground, funneling your ribs towards the top of your pelvis. 
And then inhale and lower back down nice and slow. Okay, let's do uh, four more, so five total. Exhale and lift. Inhale and lower down. Okay, three more. If this starts to bother your neck and shoulders, you can always take a hand behind the head and use the hand to rest the head into. I want you to work on relaxing your shoulders back and down, lifting from your sternum more so than your chin or from your neck. Okay, and I think that's five for me. So as I let my head and shoulders down, I'm then gonna relax. I'm gonna let go of some of that effort and just breathe. And now we'll take our abdominal work to the side. Okay, so I want you to bring your left hand behind your head. Okay, we're gonna use the left hand just to support the, support the head. And take your right arm up into the air and you're going to be reaching across your body towards the outside of your left ankle. Okay, so take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, lift and reach towards the outer left ankle. Okay and then inhale and come back down. So there's a rotation happening here. We're gonna do five total. Now, as you lift, I want you to set the intention of lifting both shoulders away from the ground. Now, the right shoulder is gonna lift a lot. The left shoulder, probably not so much, but the intention is there. I've got one more, so inhale to center. Exhale, reaching towards the left. And then we come back down. We're gonna switch sides. The right hand comes behind the head. The left arm lifts up into the air. Take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, lift and reach towards the outer right ankle. Inhale down. And five on this side. I do these every day. See on. I, I do this abdominal work that I'm teaching you every day because I have an achy back. Uh, I injured myself many years ago and I always need to do abdominal strengthening because I tend to be pretty, um, I don't know, prone <laughs> to achiness, I guess. Okay, so this is five and then we're going to lower back down. We're going to release. Okay, both hands can come down. You can rest your hands on your belly and just feel now, feel the abdominal muscles. Okay, notice mine feel pretty warm. They feel really nice and um, I very much connected to um, my strength right now. Okay. And then from here, I'd like you to walk your feet apart so that they're a little bit wider than your hips and we'll do a nice little stretch now for, for our abs. It'll probably feel really nice. So I want you to bring your arms out to the side like a T and take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna drop the knees to the left and then inhale back through center. And remember some of that engagement, always moving from the center to a little squeeze to come back through center. And then exhale to the right, letting go. And inhale through center. And if you'd like, you can add a rotation of the neck. So as you exhale to the left, look towards the left as well. So you get a little stretch in the neck. Inhale, knees and nose to center. Exhale to the right. Knees and the nose pointing towards the right, getting a rotation in the neck. Do one more on each side. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left, inhale through center, and exhale to the right. Good, come on back to center. And I want you to find that yoga block. Okay, find your yoga block and have it within reaching distance, nice and close. Now, if you don't have a yoga block, don't worry, you can do this, um, this practice without the block too, and I'll show you how to do that. Now I want you to start by bringing your left knee in towards your body for single knee to chest pose. Okay, and we're just gonna stay here for a few moments and breathe. Now you can um, point and flex the foot if you like, spread your toes. Maybe you wanna roll the ankle a couple of times in one direction or the other. 
But then allow yourself to just rest, rest in single knee to chest poses. It's a really nice stretch for the lower back. Okay, think of just being here, just resting and just allowing the low back to release. Letting your body be nice and heavy on the earth. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale and set the left foot down. And we're gonna do the right side now. So right knee comes in. And as you bring the right knee in, I want you to just notice where it likes to go. Does it like to, to lean out towards the side a little bit? Does it prefer to be right in towards the center? What feels most natural and most comfortable in your hip? and then just allow yourself to be there. Again, you can point and flex the foot a couple of times. Maybe you wanna circle the right ankle around. And then come into stillness. Allow yourself to just be in the pose for a few cycles of breath, um, creating a mindful moment. Just breathing, just being in your body. Being um, attentive with your awareness and where your awareness is. And then on your next exhale, you're going to place the right foot back down. And we're going to come back to a little low back traction. So I want you to bring your hands to your thighs again. And make sure that the heels of your hands, this... Um, this base part right here of the palm um, is in the hip crease, right where your leg uh, bone, that uh, femur bone meets the pelvis. There's a little crease there. Make sure you're right in there, okay? Right where the hip flexor muscles are. And you're gonna press nice and slow, pressing into those, um, that little crease, right where the hip flexor muscle is and just gently press as if you're trying to um, press your, your um, upper leg bones away as your, your femurs, trying to press your femurs away. Just creating a nice traction once again for the low back. We'll take another full breath in. And then exhale and release. Good. And now go ahead and grab your yoga block. And you're gonna bring your left knee in towards your body again. And you're gonna place the block behind the back of the thigh. Now, if you don't have a block, you can interlace your fingers and hold onto the back of the leg. That will work too. Okay, I'm gonna use the block. I like it, it's a nice, gives me a nice grip. Okay, and then I want you to flex your foot. Flex your foot. And then create like a, a 90 degree bend in the knee, like as if you're um, in chair pose, okay, with the knee. And you're gonna flex your foot and you're gonna push your leg bone away from you as if you are trying to push your foot into an imaginary wall. Okay? And as you push your leg bone away from you, you're, kind of, you're really pushing it into the block and you're pushing, or you're pushing it into your hands. You're squeezing your belly muscles and you're just holding this, this um, very, uh, very specific movement here to create some strength in the hips and some strength in the abdominals. Good. Take another full breath here. Exhale everything, keep pushing the leg away. Good. And then on your next exhale, you're going to relax and you'll um, set your block down. Okay. And if you're holding on to um, the leg still, you're going to uh, release your hands and then you're going to set your left foot down. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. So go ahead and bring your right knee in, take the block or interlace your fingers behind the thigh. Okay, flex the foot and make a nice 90 degree bend in the knee, like as if you're in chair pose. And then start to push. Push the leg away, pushing the leg into the block or into your hands. Okay, we're engaging in the abdominal muscles, gently squeezing. 
And then we're still breathing, breathing in and breathing out. Okay, and as you're doing this, it'll probably feel warm. Okay, and that there's a lot of engagement happening in the leg. Muscles are all contracting. And we're breathing, and just holding this here. Good, take one more deep breath in. And then exhale and relax. And go ahead and release your hands, release your block. And then this time, let's go ahead and bring both knees in towards the body. And we're gonna gently rock side to side. Good. And then let's go ahead and um, set our block off to the side so it's out of the way. And we're going to set the, the um, arms down so that they're in a nice v, uh, low V shape. And you can rotate your palms so that they're facing down. And then I want you to um, keep your knees hugging in towards your body and you're going to point your toes. I want you to engage your abdominal muscles and think of keeping your low back nice and long here. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, start to hover the knees over towards the left, maybe about a quarter of the way or about halfway towards the earth. And just so you feel some engagement in your abdominals, but not so far to where you feel strain in your back. Okay, and then inhale and come back through center. And then exhale and hover the legs over towards the right. Okay, perhaps stomach churning pose. And then inhale through center. And exhale to the left. Inhale through center. And exhale to the right. Good. Let's do that one more time on each side. And then come back to center and you're going to hover your legs over towards the right and you're going to hold. Okay. So we're holding here in this twist and you're only about a quarter of the way or maybe halfway, whatever feels comfortable where you're you're working hard, but you're not straining yourself. I want you to imagine that you are still kind of pushing your thigh bones away from you, even though your knees are coming in towards your chest. So you're reaching through your tailbone. The hands can be pressing down into the earth to help ground and stabilize you in the upper portion of the body. And then one more breath in. And then exhale to come through center and then hover over towards the left. And we'll do the same thing over here. We're gonna hover till we feel some effort, but yet we can maintain an easy breath, a flow of breath. And we'll just be here and just breathe. This is a strong um, work here for the obliques, the side abdominal muscles. And one more deep breath in. And then exhale and come on back to center. Nice work. Now go ahead and set your feet down. I want you to straighten your legs out nice and long onto the mat. And you're going to um, flex your feet as you take a breath in. And as you exhale, go ahead and point your toes. And then flex your feet again and point your toes. Okay. And now I'd like you to bring your hands behind your head. You're going to interlace your fingers and let your head rest into your palms. And you can allow your feet to relax now. And we're going to come into um, a, a banana pose, a nice side bend. So I'd like you to um, lift your upper body and then slide it over towards the left so that you are creating a curve in the upper part of your body. The whole right side is now um, more lengthened. The right elbow might feel like it's pointing up and the left side of your body has shortened. Okay, so it'll feel kind of like you're 
left elbow is pointing more downwardly. If you want to, you can add the legs. You can walk your legs to the bottom left corner of your yoga mat, or if you're not on a mat, just walk them towards the left a little bit. And that might add a little stretch in, in the hip, in the lower back. Um, definitely, you might be feeling this through the whole left side of the body, uh, excuse me, the right side, right side body. And uh, maybe, maybe in the leg. Maybe in the IT band, the outer right leg. So just stay here and breathe. Make sure that this is a sustainable position so that you can just be here. Right? Not feeling any straining or causing unnecessary stress. Just allowing yourself to be. Just spend just a few moments breathing here. Now, if you, as you're being, resting here and breathing, if your mind wanders, if, it, if you find that your mind is off thinking about other things, if you are worrying or um, thinking about what you're going to do tomorrow, that's okay. Just acknowledge it, notice, become aware that it's happening. <laughs> and then gently bring yourself back to your breath. And then go ahead and walk your feet to the back, back to the center and lift your body and come back to your center so that your spine is straight again. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna lift and shift your upper body over towards the right, creating a shortening of the right side body and a nice lengthening of the left side. If this is too uncomfortable in the arms, if you end up with like some tingling or weird, you know, numbness going on, you can always take cactus arms instead. And then again, you can walk your legs over to the right, just creating a nice, um, Banana shape, <laughs> essentially. I'm kind of like able to see myself in on my screen and yep, that's exactly what I look like. I look like a banana lying on the floor <laughs> with my arms out to the side like a cactus. <laughs> and I love this. It's one of my favorite poses. It's a really nice um, pose for the whole, for the side body. And um, for some, this, this um, bending, bending to the side, for some can be really helpful with low back discomfort. So just spending a few moments just breathing, knowing that there's nothing you need to do right now, know where you need to be, there's no better time to um, be present than now. And then make your way back to center nice and slow. And allow your arms to come down by your sides. And just let your legs relax, let your whole body relax. Just taking a moment to settle, to settle the body. And then let's go ahead and bend the knees. We'll bring our feet down to the mat and we're gonna do a couple of bridge poses. We're gonna do five bridge poses. We did a lot of great work for strengthening the front of our body. Now let's make sure we do something for the back. So with your arms down by your sides, it can be in that low V shape, and your feet com a comfortable distance width apart, about the, the width of the hips. You're gonna inhale and lift your hips up. I want you to squeeze your glutes. And as the hips come up, make sure you're pushing into the heels and the balls of the feet evenly. When you get to the shoulder blades, pause. 
And then on the exhale, come down nice and slow with control. And then inhale and lift and squeeze, letting the groins widen and the thighs move towards the toes. And then exhale and lower down. And three more, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Good, so this is the last one and we're gonna hold bridge pose here. Okay, so inhale, lift, come on up. And just see if you can hold and be here. I love to keep my arms right where they are. I like doing bridge with my shoulder blades apart. It feels better for my neck. But if you wanna roll your shoulders underneath your body and bring your shoulder blades a little closer together, go ahead and do so. And then push down into the length of the arms. Check in with the neck, make sure that the neck feels okay. And try to relax your facial muscles. If there's some grip in your jaw, let that go. Soften your eyes. Good. And then exhale and release. Let your shoulder blades come apart and lower down nice and slow. And once you're down, relax. Place your hands on your belly and just take a few breaths down into the belly center. Feeling your inhale in your body as your belly rises. And feeling the exhale, letting go. Good. And now from here, we're going to roll towards the left. So go ahead and roll towards your left side. You can rest your head on your left arm if you like. Take a pause for peace. And then gently press yourself up. And coming on up. And now, once you're up, I want you to come to a comfortable seated position and find your yoga block again. And you can place the block in front of you. Uh, if, you um, if you don't have a block, um, but you happen to have a small little pillow nearby, a little couch pillow or some lightweight small item, that will work too. All right, and so, with your legs crossed, I'm just gonna place this block in front of me. It's out of my way for now. I want you to um, rock side to side and just find a nice even distribution of weight between your right and left side. Sitting up nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders back and down. And you're gonna bring your arms out to the side, okay, into a T-shaped position again. And you're gonna roll your palms open Okay, and you're gonna bend your elbows. And now as you bend your elbows, let your shoulder blades slide down your back, but then gently squeeze your shoulder blades together. So you're feeling an activation of your upper back. It doesn't have to be too hard, but just knowing, just having the awareness that the shoulder blades are gently squeezing, moving towards one another as your shoulders relax back and down. And now keep that interaction of the upper back and turn your palms back over, straighten your elbows, and see if you can now move from that place between your shoulder blades. So as you're reaching through your fingertips, your shoulder blades are moving towards one another and down. Good, now take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna turn. Okay, turning any amount. And just notice how far you went. Okay. Doesn't have to be that far. But just notice how far you went and feel your obliques, your side abdominals. And feel your center. Okay. Move from there. And take another deep breath in. And then exhale and come back to center. Good. You can rest your arms down. Just letting your fingertips tap down to the earth for a moment. Maybe give your shoulders a little, a little loop before we do the other side. I know that's a lot of work, <laughs> holding the arms up like that can be really hard. 
especially if you do it for a long time <laughs> and you have somebody else telling you to do it and you're like, when are you going to say put them down? <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to bring our arms out to the side again. Okay, think of your arms um, as like a horizon line, okay? So you're keeping that visual in mind. It might come in handy a little later. And you're going to move your shoulder blades onto your back. Okay? You'll, you might feel them move towards one another and press onto your back. Your shoulders are relaxing down. Sometimes I find it helpful to um, push my arms into an imaginary countertop. And that helps me to engage the back muscles so that I can really put my feeling attention into them. Okay. And this can be really helpful when you get into like warrior poses, into your warrior one, warrior two poses where your are triangle, where your arms are like this. Okay. Now we're going to come into our twist. So take a deep breath in, grow tall through the crown of your head. And then exhale and twist. Okay, twisting only as far as you can go to where you can maintain the arms in the horizon position. Okay, try not to use the arms to take you further, but just notice how far you go. Okay, notice how much rotation you have. Okay, not, not very much. <laughs> All right, we rotate. Okay. Some of us rotate a little further than others, just depends on how much rotation we have. Good, take another deep breath in. And then exhale and come back to center and relax your arms. Good. And then let's just shake them out now. Go ahead and shake your arms out. Beautiful. All right, now I want you to grab that block and you're going to place it right behind your, um, your uh, back, but more towards your right. Okay. And we're going to work a little bit on creating um, more rotation. And this is a, a nice movement pattern that helps us to find, um, to work a little bit more uh, rotation. And so what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to reach behind you with your left arm. Okay. So you're, re you're twisting and you're rotating to grab the block. You're going to bring the block around in front of you and you're going to have to internally rotate your arm to then place the block back behind you and you'll have to rotate towards your left to do that, all right? And then we're gonna do that again. We're gonna reach around with our left hand to grab the block, which is behind the right butt cheek, and then sweep it around our body and place it back in the starting position, okay? And you have to internally rotate your arm to place it back behind you. Let's try that one more time. Okay. <laughs> I can feel myself working pretty hard in my core when I'm doing this. All right. And then we're going to do three on the other side. So you got to slide the block now behind your left hip, okay, right behind your left buttock. And you can take a moment to compare and contrast, right, the two sides. And I want you to work mindfully, work slowly. It's not, it's not a race. We don't have to um, try to get all three in really quickly. I want you to take your time as you reach behind you, across your body with your right hand this time to grab the block, come around, and then place the block back behind your left hip. Okay. Let's do that again. Staying with this movement. Okay, and don't restrict yourself in any way. Let your body move the way that it wants to move. It knows what to do. Good. And then come back to center. Ah, I hope that was interesting for you. I found it to be, I, when I do that, it, it kind of gives me a lot to, a lot more awareness of where I might need a little bit more work um, to create some some really happy rotation in my spine, which is something we really need um, in our body. We need to be able to, to rotate. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit more rotation. <laughs> so I want you to bring your, um, your feet out in front of you, and you're gonna take your feet wider than your hips. You can set your block off to the side, and we're gonna come back to that windshield white movement of the legs. 
So I want you to um, allow the knees to release towards the left to start. Your right hip is going to lift. That's okay. You're shifting your weight towards your left. Come back through center and then do the other side. Okay. Knees to the um, right side now. And try that one more time. Okay. Moving slow, right? moving mindfully. Moving from your center. And now come back to center. And we're going to add a movement of the arm and a rotation of the spine. So come back to that idea of a horizon line. So I want you to lift your right arm up and sweep it across the horizon. Drop your knees to the left. Keep tracing the horizon with your right arm as you rotate and take a, a stretch. And then retrace the horizon as you come back through center. Bring your right hand down, lift your left arm up, come across the horizon. The knees fall down to the right side and then we reach across almost like we're trying to reach behind us. Okay. And then do that again, one time on each side and have fun with it, Sion. Have fun with this movement. If you find that you are kind of doing like a little crab walk, that's normal. I always find that I move like forward. I feel like I'm moving forward even though I'm reaching backwards. And once you get comfortable with this, you, you can add some momentum. And you can try and connect your breath with the movement. You kind of turn it into a little, little mini flow. Perfect. And then come back to center. And then go ahead and take the soles of your feet together. The knees open out to the side. And we'll pause here in seated bound angle pose. And just allow yourself to come back to center in your spine. And just sitting up nice and tall. Just taking a moment to, to just be still. Okay. And then from here, I want you to take the legs out into a wide shape, a wide V shape. And we're gonna come into a little forward fold. And you can either flex your feet Spread your toes and activate your legs more, or you can let your feet relax. It's up to you. And you're going to fold right at the hips. Okay, so you're going to walk your hands forward and just fold to any comfortable place. Allow your head to relax, allow your shoulders to relax, and just enjoy this nice forward fold. Kind of giving into gravity a bit here. This is wide-legged seated forward fold. And take another deep breath in. And then exhale and lift yourself all the way up. And hold on to the backs of the knees and bend the knees and then walk the feet together. Coming back to a nice neutral position. And then we'll go ahead and we'll straighten the legs out in front of us into staff pose and we'll come into a, a seated forward fold, regular seated forward fold. So take a nice deep breath in, find some height in your spine. And then as you exhale, go ahead and walk the hands forward, slide the hands forward and go ahead and fold. So 
Relaxing the head. Letting your shoulders relax. Just coming to that, that place in the forward fold where you feel the stretch and then just allow yourself to be there. Just breathe. And then slowly make your way back up, coming on out of the forward fold. And you're gonna find those pillows again. And we're gonna use our pillows to come into easy breathing pose. Now, if you're not using pillows tonight, that's okay. Um, you can always do this without the pillows. But essentially, you're gonna come into Shavasana um, with the pillows behind your back. Okay, and so if you're using them, stack one on top of the other, bring them nice and close towards your body, and then go ahead and lie down onto the pillows. If you need to scoot down a little bit so that your back feels more comfortable, that's okay. Make sure that your head feels supported, and you're going to allow your arms to come out to the side, and then if you want to, you can straighten your legs out onto the floor. And if you're not using the pillows, you'll just lie down. Just come into Shavasana. Into our final resting pose. And we're gonna do a breathing practice. Before we come into Shavasana itself, we're gonna do a little, a little breathing practice for calming the nervous system. And so, um, as I had mentioned before, um, uh, that sleep hygiene, um, the practices that we do to be able to get adequate rest, um, one of the practices that's really um, helpful for getting adequate rest is um, taking time to meditate or to do um, a mindfulness practice around the breath um, is really helpful because it relaxes the nervous system and it helps us to move into a place of, of balance, um, like sending a message to your body that you're safe and that it's okay to rest. Um, this along with turning technology off at night at a decent hour um, is, is really helpful um, so that we can, we, we can really um, give the body the kind of rest that it needs in order to have the, the energy and to feel that, that mm -hmm. joyful energetic body that we, um, we intend to have. So I'm going to teach you a breathing practice called box breathing. And box breathing is a really awesome breath. It's a, a four count breath. And that means that we're going to inhale for a count of four. We're going to hold the breath for four counts. We will exhale for a count of four. And then we will hold the exhale out for a count of four. And so I want you to start with some breath awareness. Just take a nice deep breath in. And as if you are clearing the slate, exhale with a nice big sigh. And just sigh the whole breath out. And now inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Nice work. Go ahead and let go of the breathing practice for a moment and just enjoy some natural, easy, simple breath right now.
And I want you to just notice how that, that four count felt for you. I want you to know that if it didn't feel right, if it felt like too much resistance, um, causing strain or stress to breathe in and hold the breath for that long, um, you can drop it down. You have permission to do a three count or a two count, whatever feels most um, comfortable for you right now. Now we're gonna try this practice again, and this time we'll go for a few rounds. I'm gonna stick with the four count, um, but if you need to adjust your counting as we go through this, I want you to do that. Don't feel like you need to keep up with me. Okay, all right. So let's start with an easy breath in. Take a nice deep inhale. And then clear the slate, sigh the breath out. Nice big sigh. I want you to do that one more time. Nice deep breath in. And then sigh the breath out and then we'll begin. And now inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Nice job. Let go of box breathing and relax back into easy, gentle breath. Take a moment to observe the imprint that the breathing practice has had on your body and your mind. Ideally, after that practice, your body will feel relaxed. Maybe a sense of heaviness or lightness. It'll feel steady and, and very, very present. And then the mind, ideally the mind will be alert, awake, but very calm. Much like the surface of a glassy lake. And so I'd like you to stay with the feeling. See if you can stay with what you're experiencing in your body and in your mind. Just allowing the breath to flow in a gentle, easy way. Relaxing your legs, allowing your arms to get heavier, letting go, just letting go, allowing yourself to just be. Now, if you find that your mind wanders, if the mind is somewhere else, that's okay. I know that in a second that the mind will begin to, to travel, right? It'll time travel into the future or into the past. I want you to allow that to be okay. That is just the nature of the mind. Mm -hmm. 
When you notice that happen, relax back. See if you can relax back into presence. Just feeling subtle sensation of the body. Gentle breathing. Just practicing this kind of, of relaxing back into presence, moment to moment. And now, gently begin to deepen your breathing, just allowing your awareness to come back into the room. And just perhaps allow your eyes to open, but just let yourself continue to rest in your body. There's no need to rush to come out of the pose. There's need, no need to rush. As um, Lao Tzu has been quoted, nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. So, If you prefer to stay in this position for a little longer, that's okay. If you'd like to roll to one side and gently press yourself up, that's okay too. But just decide how you'd like to close our practice this evening. I'm gonna join my palms together at my heart. If you'd like to do the same, go ahead and do the same. And then we'll close with an OM. I'm taking a nice deep breath in. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I hope that you enjoyed your practice. Good. I'm so glad that that was just what you needed. <laughs> just what the soul needed. Perfect. That makes me happy. Thank you for, um, for being here. And if you get a chance tomorrow, enjoy nature. Um, I'm not sure if you're able to go outside. I, I think you are, because I know you have a beehive. <laughs> um, but if you, if you, do, if you can, um, definitely go outside and enjoy, enjoy the weather. Um, one of the things that I've been really um, enjoying myself lately is noticing that despite this global pandemic, nature continues to move on. Um, we're in spring season, and so all of the natural occurrences of spring every year are still happening. Um, all the bees are pollinating, and I just love that. I love that they're just going to work. <laughs> um, they're doing their thing that they do every year, and that makes me happy. Um, I noticed that some of the fruit uh, fruit bats that we have here in Santa Clarita are out, but they come out every spring when it gets warmer. Um, I don't think they're the same kinds of bats that are in Wuhan, China, but, <laughs> but 
Um, but yeah, just I noticed them tonight. Um, you know, all of the, the trees are releasing their, I've got this beautiful tree behind my condo that releases this like fluffy, cottony, pollen-y stuff in the air. Um, so, you know, the planet is doing her thing and it's um, very healing when we get a chance to slow down and tune into that cycle with the planet and just sync ourselves up with it. And uh, that too plays a really big part in our, our sleep hygiene, um, our circadian rhythm when it matches up with Earth's as best we can, we get really good, really good rest. So um, yes, check in on your bees, see if they have anything for you. <laughs> I bet they do. Uh, you'll have to let me know if you find if you find some honey. Anyway, have a wonderful night, and um, I hope to see you again soon, um, sooner than later. And um, namaste. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>